Okay, guys, have a seat. Just wanted you to settle down and shower and relax and unwind before I spoke. That that was a tough one. That was a t that was uh, that was hard. That was hard to swallow. A lot of a lot of a uh, lot of emotion out there. A lot of uh, oof. you know. Many, many years ago, before many of you can even remember and most of you were born, there was a game between the Giants and the Eagles at the Meadowlands. And we were winning with almost no time on the clock, and we had the ball. We had to run one play, and that would be the game. We would win. All the quarterback had to do was take a knee, and the, the game was over. But what did we do? Well, there was a quarterback by the name of Joe Pizarchik. So he lined up behind the center and actually took a snap and then turned the handoff to Larry Zonka. Well, to my surprise, the handoff bounced off Larry Zonka's leg and was picked up by an eagle and run back for the game when he touched down. Yes! After the third quarter today, I went to the locker room to take a piss. I was pissing blood. I was spitting blood. I even vomited a little blood. Blood coming out of my ass, my cock, my ears, my nose, everywhere. Blood coming out of everywhere. We play like a fucking Division I AA college team. We were the Meadowlands College Giants for three quarters. The defense actually played pretty good. Well, what else is no? No shocker there. But the offense... You are like a fucking Division I double A offense. Eli, if you were soup for three quarters, it would be a bowl of water with shit, pieces of shit, like Rice Krispies just, just floating in the water, like a little piece of shit floating in the water. If you were a tree, you wouldn't have leaves, just, just branches with pieces of shit hanging from it. But you changed. You woke up. You had an epiphany out there. I saw it. You played like the Eli we expect. Please remember to play like that next week for all four quarters, if possible. Dakwa, you had three yards on four rushes for three quarters. If you had a boner and just fell forward four times and they gave you the forward motion of your cock, you would have had more than negative one yard on four carries. But you came alive. And that fourth quarter, holy shit. You know we hadn't had a lead in the first three games until we took the lead in the fourth quarter of this game? Do you know that we haven't scored 20 points in a game for the last eight games before this game? And we scored 24 points in the fourth fucking quarter. Mind-boggling. By the way, my wife went to mybookie.ag. She put in a promo code WVIC, capital, all caps, and bet the under, which looked pretty damn good for three quarters. And I didn't even care when she lost the under. We went, went up 24 to 21. I was happy we went over and my wife lost the bet. By the way, she's 7-1, and one, by the way. So here we are, guys. The offense played like shit for three quarters. And I told Cockadoodle Doo at the end of the three quarters that those two failed fourth down attempts deep in Philly territory when we had cheap shot field goals for six points better not come back and haunt us. And they did. Yes, they did, gentlemen. What can I say? The fucking third touchdown by Philly was a fucking gift with that damn pass interference and a 61 yard or two win. I mean, what the fuck? We've had the miracle of the Meadowlands and now we've had the miracle of Lincoln Field. I've seen the miracle on 34th Street and I had Miracle Whip on my sandwich today. Well, gentlemen, we're 0-3. But you know what? We showed a lot of fight today. The defense was fine. Maybe the offense woke up. We spread it around and everybody got involved. 13 games to play, guys. We've been in this hole before. Let's start digging out, gentlemen. We have time to turn this around. Let's build on that fourth quarter moving forward. Okay.
go get some dinner. Let's hit the buses and go back home. I fucking hate the Philadelphia Eagles.